All right, another wild week at Trump Tower. Everyone's showing up to kiss Donald's ring. Wor world leaders, politicians, crazy people. And these two, Beavis and Butthead. Leo DiCaprio and Al Snore. The maverick and goose of carbon abuse. Oh yeah, they say they're out to save the earth, dozing in their private jets. In their clownish crusade, dumb and dumber, they emit more gas than a hectare of flatulent cattle. And imagine Trump having to listen to these bozos before lunch. Massive change is required right now. One that leads to a new collective consciousness a new collective evolution of the human race. All that sounds geeky, but it's a, it's a real big historic thing. <laughs> yeah. After that, even the planet would say, please kill me. <laughs> now, after listening intently to these jackasses or pretending to listen, what did Mr. Trump do? He picked Scott Pruitt, who's currently suing the EPA to run the EPA. It's like, uh, it's like hiring Michael Moore to guard your fridge. <laughs> I gotta hand it to Donald, though. He's a prankster. He leads you on, and then bam, he hits the trap door. I bet he, I bet he put x lax in their coffee right, right before they left. So they left, and they couldn't use the bathroom. And they're in New York City. That's a lot of fun. See, Pruitt is the key threat against the left's climate agenda. He probably thinks Greenpeace is a lawn fertilizer. <laughs> or the Sierra Club is a sandwich. <laughs> Leo's gotta be crushed. Guess it's back to models and colonics. I guess whatever Gore said to Trump went over as well as his diet plan. Poor, poor Al, he got out of bed, he shaved, he plucked the nose hair. He even put on a clean pair of sweats before he came over. The one that still has the drawstring. And Donald gave him one massive orange head fake. But not just him. Earlier, Donald also saw Rahm Emanuel. Wow. I agree. He's the worst mayor since this guy. Pretty bad. Make no mistake, Rom sucks. With 600 murders in Chicago, lead poisoning is now airborne. So how did, this, how did this, this meeting with Donald go? I was clear about where I stood and other mayors stood on immigrants, that we welcome them because they are achieving and, and striving for the American dream. Mm -hmm. I wonder how Donald received him. Get off the when I hear you. Never, that never loses. So why would Donald meet with him anyway? It seems kind of weird. You know, Rob didn't mind any reason to leave Chicago. And you know he didn't want to go home. He could get shot there. If Trump had offered, Rom would have taken the job as naval lint picker. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump picked Lyndon McMahon, who ran the WWE, to run the Small Business Administration, which brings up my question. There's a Small Business Administration? I had no idea. For Labor Secretary, he picked Andy Puzder, a fast food guy who runs Carl's Jr. in Hardee's. They have curly fries. I know nothing about Puzder, but I do know curly fries. It's enough for me, America. So, let's look at Trump's picks so far. You got fast food, you got wrestling, you got a lot of generals. This is exactly what a teenage boy would do if he were elected president. All, all that's missing is a monster robot and a plucky assistant who looks like Kate Upton. And mind you, this is a very good thing. This team is one big macro aggression against safe spacers. It's designed to give the entire staff of Rolling Stone heart seizures. 